Our daily Bible reading for December 13th. Our reading today comes from the book of Revelation, chapter 1. Revelation chapter 1. We'll begin reading in verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. John, to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, and made us a kingdom, priest to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. All the tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, your brother and partner in the tribulation and the kingdom and the patient endurance that are in Jesus, was on the island called Patmos on account of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet, saying, Write what you see in a book, and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus, and to Smyrna, and to Pergamum, and to Thyatira, and to Sardis, and to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Then I turned to see the voice that was speaking to me, and on turning I saw seven golden lampstands, and in the midst of the lampstands one like a son of man clothed a long robe with a golden sash around his chest. The hairs of his head were white, like white wool, like snow. His eyes were like a flame of fire. His feet were like burnished bronze, refined in a furnace. And his voice was like a roar of many waters. In his right hand he held seven stars. From his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword. And his face was like the sun shining in full strength. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last and the living one. I died, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and Hades. Write, therefore, the things that you have seen, those that are and those that are to take place after this. As for the mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands, and the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. A few thoughts for today. Someone once quipped that the classics are those we intend to read but never get around to. Libraries and bookstores are filled with untold numbers of books that we will, in all likelihood, never read. Book critics will read new works and give favorable reviews of them, and many will think upon reading them in their spare time. But in reality, few will get around to it. Time just never seems to be plentiful enough for us to find precious moments to read them. There is, however, one book that we shall do well to press the pages of for wisdom. That book, of course, is the Holy Bible. There are few homes today in the United States, and indeed many other nations, where the Word of God is not readily available. Sadly, though, the Bible remains unread by the vast majority of people. It seems that availability is no guarantee of use. John the Apostle records for us what God had given him. This we are told in the very first verse of the book of Revelation. John witnessed these things, verse 2. Now we are given a blessing in verse 3. Notice the order. First, read. Second, hear. Third, heed. The order is unmistakable as it is given to us. We must read what John has written. But that is not enough. We must hear. This is more than just the audible act. It is searching for the meanings that are given. But wait, there's more. 
is not enough to hear or understand. We must heed the warnings given. James, in his letter to us, reminds us that we must be more than hearers. He writes, But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word, not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he is like. James chapter 1, verses 22-24. through 24. John gives specific blessings that are attached to the revelation of Jesus Christ. For those in the first century, the persecution of the saints, as in no other time, was near. For us today, the day of the Lord is nearer than it has ever been. Those in Smyrna were given comfort and encouragement that their tribulations would not be long, ten days, symbolic of a short time, chapter 2 and verse 10. We are given comfort and encouragement that our trials shall not be long either. We find that just as God was with those under Roman oppression, we too shall be delivered in any age that persecution shall arise. We must read, hear, and heed this book to get the blessings contained within. Do you have the time, reader? Question of the day. Will you pray for God's guidance today as you read his letter from John? And finally, a thought to meditate on this day. The book of Revelation is not beyond our ability to read and understand. You may be amazed at how plain the language is once you begin reading it. Those are our thoughts for today, December 13th.